What's up everybody, it's Morphin Time. It's the prototype here bringing you some Power Rangers Legacy Wars gameplay today. And today we are using Ziggy Grover. And I will be bringing you a gameplay of Izzy. I believe that's the new Ranger name. Uh, when I can, I just didn't really have a lot of time. So I managed to do this today. And uh, yeah, I unlocked the Connor assist. So I wanted to try him with uh, Ziggy in it. Actually, this combo works really nice. Anyway, let's get into the replays here. So first match up here. Yeah, we went against a heckle. If I remember it was actually a pretty close match. Just dodge and stuff. I was hoping he was going to run into that, didn't really work. I managed to somehow get the cancel there. And a nice little back and forth exchange. He's waiting for me to do something, obviously. For some reason I thought that would work, and it was very dumb. Don't ever do that. <laughs> get the Scorpina. Just checking to see if that would combo into each other, which it definitely does not. I forgot there's zero range on that. But the Connor does stun really nicely into that attack. It actually stuns into the hammer pretty well as well. Just checking the distance after the stun. First I'm using the Connor assist. Gotta say it's pretty awesome. You get the nice little swing of the axe finish. I will show you the two losses I had too, because they were good games. This guy, I've, I've never really fought a Psycho Green that cancelled as much as this guy. That's why he kept catching me with straight cancels. I don't think he, he pulled out one single strike, he pretty much beat me with just breakers. Like normally to try and build up that, uh, that hit counter. Learned that Scorpino combo really nice into that. It was just a little too out of the way for that axe to hit. Because that does actually combo into each other most of the time. I was trying to actually cancel there to make him waste a shield, but uh, that was a no-go. I thought I could get him to go into uh, his strike and then follow up with the uppercut. That's what I was doing there. But uh, as you can see, he was really just canceling everything for the most part. Like right there, I only caught him because he canceled. I was like, what in the world's going on? <laughs> it was it was a very odd psycho. And this, yeah, here you go. He finally does a uh, actual strike combo. I couldn't cancel right there. That was what was wrong. And he finally finishes off with that. Could not get the cancel on the end there. I wanted to cancel into the axe, but... It did not go that way. I find Ziggy, if you dash forward, it doesn't actually cancel. You have a way better chance of just dashing straight back. Anyway, the next match up here, we went against the uh, Mighty Morphin Jason. We went with the all Mighty Morphin lineup. I do like it. Get up cut right away, straight into the axe swing. Scorpina for that extra damage. Just out of range of the Tommy. Realistically, I shouldn't have canceled. I forgot he didn't have any uh, defensive characters. But you never know, he might have a shield. Connor to Scorpina works really well. No Scorpina. I really like this lineup with Ziggy. I can't lie. It was a lot of fun using. Connor just goes straight across screen, he gets a stagger, and he's only a 3 cost, like, it's a great assist to use. <laughs> we uppercut him out of there.
Okay. And we fought a Dragon Shield Zack. Waiting for him to do some Dragon Shield Zack stuff. I thought he was going to, yeah. I knew he was following up with that, but he just went longer and I thought, I thought he was going to cancel and then go into that or something. That was just a big delay on my part. <laughs> a big, big delay. This guy just has an answer for everything at the moment. And it's like, okay, back up, Connor. Axe swings. I don't know why I didn't dash back there. I can't remember what what stopped me from moving away. Pretty close. He mistimes it. Kicks him with the axe. And now I'm just waiting for something. Scorpina, and I think we counter it. Yeah, just for that. It's a quick, almost guaranteed hit. Most of the time. Now, we had a loss to uh, TJ from In Space. This is a good game too, and I lost this just because I messed up. It's just simple as that. I thought it was just being dumb. Like, Alright, I know you're TJ, you don't have a whole lot going on for you. You can even see the bit of the lag in this, in the replay. The uppercut, axe. Getting decent damage. I'm like, alright, let's see what he's doing. I tried to dash and then block. But I couldn't... I thought you could block the second hit regardless. Apparently not. I should have axed there. I really... Like, these are the things I was doing that was stupid. And I should never have tried that. I already knew it doesn't work. Luckily, the uppercut is there for me. Should have probably went to the axe there, but... Is what it is. Starts hitting me with some decent combos here. I don't know how I lost this. Man. This should have been a guarantee. Oh yeah, right here. I tried to do that into the uppercut and it didn't work. And now I'm stuck with two breakers. And this is exactly how he beats me. And I'm like, well, I gotta do something. And I accidentally pressed that. I don't know why, but that's what ended up messing me over big time. I couldn't shield here. I seen her walk out and I couldn't hit the shield. I didn't, yeah, I did not mean to hit that uppercut button. I think I, I don't even know what I was doing. I don't know if it was a slip of the finger, but I tried to dash and I hit that instead, but yeah. <laughs> Very unfortunate loss. Then we went against a Beast Morph for Red. Three, two, one, go. Was, I didn't realize his breaker was this fast. Like, for some reason, I could not do anything against that. I was a little too late on that, because that does combo into each other. He's doing a lot of good strike cancels. I mean, he played well. Thought I could uppercut after, but it took a few hits for it to work. Couldn't get the strike there. This was an all-around just weird match for me. Meant to hit the breaker, didn't work. Get some big hits. Get that uppercut. We do a little kick before his because mine's just a little bit faster. Can't dash in too quick when you're using a Scorpina. Get the stagger into that. Like, that combo right there is so nice. It does big damage. So next time you have Ziggy, if you have these two assists, man, I'd give it a go. I thought it was awesome. You know, that was a great team.
And yeah, that will bring an end to today's video. Like I said, I will be bringing an Izzy gameplay very soon. And uh, I do have requests for other things that I'm going to try and put out there. I've just been busy lately, but I'll try and put out as much as I can. And yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, as it will help me out. And if you watch more videos on this channel and you enjoy them, please hit subscribe, as that will also really help me out. Okay, see you next time.